it is time to start installing the upper deck. The first step is to prepare the sensor shield by installing this GY521 module which if I'm not mistaken has accelerometer and gyro on it. I'll have to look up for more details. So, before we do anything else, we have to get the sensor shield out of the anti-static back. Cut the back. Take out the shield. Before I install it, I would like to examine it a little bit. So yes, this module has MPU 6050, which is in the GY521 evaluation board. So from what I see here, this, oh, okay, so this is a button. I was not sure if it is potentiometer or button, but it appears to be a button. Yes, we obviously have reset, we have some RGB LED, some kind of switch, infrared receiver, okay, well we have the motor driver right here, some kind of double H bridge, and we have this location here where we can install our MPU 6050 module, accelerometer, gyroscope module. And we have connectors for the different, well obviously for the motors, for the line tracking, the ultrasonic ranger. We have UART which most likely will be connected to uh, our Wi-Fi and camera USB 32 module. We'll have to see about this. And we have two connectors for servos. Obviously we will use only one servo, but we can always add a second servo or potentially some other sensor. So although this shoot does not have much option for further expansion, you can of course always add another shield underneath it for expansion or you can use the spare servo connector here to add your own sensor. So it is not as if the shield is completely non-expandable. Now let's take out the module. First I want to see how it's going to fit. Well, nice and tight fit here. I'll just leave it here for now. Take this back which says back number three for cell box and uh, tires and GUI521. So obviously we want only the parts for GUI21 uh, 521 which are this 3 by 5 millimeter uh, screws bolts and this copper pillar standoff. So take the parts from the back. I'll take everything out for simplicity. From here all we need are these three parts. Everything else can go back into the back. It appears that we may have one spare such bolt generously provided by the good folks at LA Go. Put the back aside. The pillar is to be installed right here. There is only one hole. So not many options. Place the pillar. Well, for now I'll actually go ahead remove gently the orientation sensor, place a bolt from the 
bottom of the scissor shoot through the pillar and loosely tighten, very loosely for now, so it can self adjust. Install the sensor, place bolt here through the sensor, and now I can go ahead using the little screwdriver provided by Ellie Go in the kit, go ahead and tighten both bolts. Do not over tighten, not to cause any fractures on the boards, but in any case, this step of the assembly is completed. Now it is time to go ahead and install the Arduino Uno on top of the upper deck of the chassis, the top plate. The plate is again covered by protective paper and we have to remove it. Starting from one corner and start removing gently. Don't worry if it tears at some location, we can always get it separately. We can even go relatively rough. and clear part by part. This side is nice and clean. I repeat the same procedure on this side. Here I actually see that it has started to get loose, so it will be the easiest place. This side is done and we have our deck plate ready. Now we have to see what parts we need. Again from bag number two for Omo line tracking we need three bolts, three spacers, and three nuts for the bolts. So these spacers or washers, I'll get all of them out. It appears that we have four of them actually. So it appears that we have spare. We flip to this page and we'll see how they should be installed. Take out the Arduino Uno
Now the Arduino Uno, first of all, is made, this particular one, by Ellie Gold himself. It is their own design. Appears to be quite nice, with nice labeled pins on the pin headers. Seems quite good build quality from what I can see. Looks quite nice. As you probably have noticed, the Arduino Uno is not totally symmetric. It is effectively flat on this side and it has this sticking part on this side. If you pay close attention to the picture, you see that the sticking part is portrayed here and the connectors are on this side. Orienting the base plate like this, we have to put the sticking part toward the two holes here and the connector toward this single hole on this side. Take a bolt, insert from the top here, second bolt here, and a third bolt will be inserted right here next to this power connector. So the three bolts will be inserted like this. On each of the bolts we will place a washer spacer. Don't worry if one of them drops. Can put it back. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Probably should I have tried to do the three of them at the same time. But I like some challenge every now and then. And now, okay, we'll, we'll do them one by one. Obviously, it's not going to work if I do them simultaneously. So we'll start by placing one bolt here. Placing it on the bottom to hold it. We'll do the same as what we did with the line following sensors. Place a washer here. Board on top. Bolt through it. Not on the bottom. Yeah, I like to experiment with new ways to assemble every now and then. Again, place the spacer, the bolt through it, the nut on the bottom. Now I can go ahead and tighten all of them. Start from one diagonal here. We have actually practically only one diagonal, so we start with the diagonal. And then the single bolt that doesn't have corresponding one on the other side. So our Arduino Uno has been installed. Now I can go ahead, take the sensor shield and carefully install it on top of the Arduino. As you can see the shield conveniently has the same sticking part that needs to match the sticking part on the Arduino. So we install it with this accelerometer toward the outside of the robot and this button and LED on the side of the USB connector here. Align all of the pins carefully in the pin headers. Align this one here. As you can see here, we have two pins that will be left unconnected. Don't worry, that is expected. Just make sure you align well this side of the shield with the Arduino board. All the connectors here properly aligned and gently press the sensor shield in place. And 
this step is also completed. And we have our upper deck with the Arduino Uno and its shot installed.